One of the things that is good with the MOXIE is that when you are compared to using power or our GPS, is that uh, power won't never tell you what the real cost for the body is, uh, neither will the GPS. The MOXIE, when you use it, is that it gives you an indication of what, how much of the oxygen that you are extracting um, from the blood and obviously that is linked to how hard you're working. So the lower the percentage is, the harder you're working. Um, so uh, what is also now nice is that, for example, the cost of staying at a certain power level for a certain duration, this is, uh, won't be the same from day to day. Some days you are more fatigued and there's a general higher cost for producing the same amount of power. Even bigger variation you will see if you now travel to different climates or altitude. So if you go to altitude, obviously what's going to happen now is that there is less oxygen available per liter of air that you're consuming. So that means also that your ventilation have to come up, but in general we know that VO2 max goes down when you're up at a higher altitude because there's a certain limit to your ventilation, how much air you can ventilate per minute. So since there's a limitation to how much air you can ventilate per minute, that means also that how much oxygen you can get in per minute is also less or reduced. So what's really nice now is that if you go by power only, then typically what you'll see if you had used the Moxie or you had used Lactate, is you see that you are riding at a much higher metabolic cost than, uh, or glycolytic cost than what you maybe intended to do. So one of the things that we see, for example, when we are in Sierra Nevada and we are riding down to Granada and we're climbing back up again from 900 meters to 2003 or 2500 meters, is that what you'll see as you're riding up the hill is that if you target now, let's say that you are doing an LT2 session, so you want to stay around 20% if that's your SMO2 or where you will see the second infliction point on your SMO2 or, or, or for lactate, then if you target now 20% SMO2 and you're trying to stay there, you'll see that what happens is that the power number will actually have to come down to get the right stimulus. The same also for LT1, if you wanted to ride that, then let's say that that was around 40, 40% and you're targeting that, then again you also see that now your LT1 power or if you're talking about lactate as a reference or if you, you do a test with the moxie to see where you're stable then you will also see that if you're targeting off 40 percent for, for let's say for a more easier session or for an ironman session then as you're riding up the hill to get the right cost for your body then you will see that basically now that the power have will to come down to be able to stay at 40 percent if you don't if you stay with the same power number, what you'll see is that instead of you're staying at 40% in SMO2 now, you actually start to see that it start to drop down to maybe towards 30% and maybe even down to 20%, indicating that what was supposedly going to be like an LT1 session is not an LT1 session anymore. It's actually now closer to an LT2 session.